he was on our side stage last year, now taking over the main stage, Brett Young with us on 98.7 WMZQ. Always good to see you. Good, good to be here. Thank you for having me. And congratulations on your second number one. Thank you. It's been fun. Oh my God. First off, I need to take the headphones off because I've been... I told them, I'm like, I need to wear my hat for the backstage broadcast. There we go. There you I go. feel better. I feel better. All geared up now. Yes, now I'm ready. Um, we love it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And how does it feel to be on tour with Lady A and all that good stuff? It's pretty incredible. You know, they, they're, uh, I'm such a big fan of them as artists, but right. I'm getting to know them as people as well. And um, uh, it's just been, you know, an opportunity to not only have a blast and catch an amazing show with after mine every mm -hmm. night, but uh, just to kind of learn from from you know people that have that have done it so well and and, and been so classy in this industry. Um, it's it's been a it's been a, a really awesome learning experience and a lot of fun. Very awesome. And uh, I was talking to Michael J actually about your album. It is so ridiculously good. Like I just have to tell you honestly. I, I mean, it, it's Thank you. awesome. Thank you. Really, you should be proud of it. Uh, you know, it's. Um, I am. I'm really proud of it. I think it was one of those things where we spent a lot of time uh, in the in the process of picking the songs for the record because it was important to us to to make that first impression, you know. Yeah. And so um, I, I I am, and you know, the most exciting thing is watching uh, people connect with it. You know, people writing and saying, you know, I lived that, or that was my story mm -hmm. too, or people finding commonality is really cool. Definitely. And uh, before you were on tour with Lady A, you were on tour with Luke Bryan, right? I was, I was. And uh, every time he would have you on stage, right? And he'd make you do a shot of Patron. Uh, yeah, uh. so I decided to bring you a shot of Patron. You have to do this right here, right now. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to do it right now. I think we but, should. Are we really? I think we should. All right, let's do it. Okay. Oh my God, should I get mine out? <laughs> yeah, I have one in here. You can make me do it alone. <laughs> Oh man, we're gonna do we're gonna do a shot of Patron. Yeah, I'll trade you. This is okay. Thank you. That's so nice. You're such a gentleman, Brett Young. Such a gentleman. Oh my God. This is. Is there a lime anywhere? Is salt? Or we're just no, doing we just it? We're just. It. Oh yeah. It's nice and chill, though. Okay. I know. Yes. All right. Cheers. 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 Okay. Oh my gosh. You do this every night. Okay. Wow. There's that thing about <laughs> onstage adrenaline though. <laughs> When you have that Woo! adrenaline on stage, you don't taste it. Yeah, totally. I tasted I that taste one. It. <laughs> no, I tasted that one. Oh, you did. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man, it I'm so delicious. glad my boss isn't here right now. <laughs> my new boss too. Man, all right, Brett Young with us, and uh, of course, I always have a game. You do, you do. What and, do we have? And uh, if I'm slurring, I'm sorry. Now, um, it's called Cup of Questions. So it's in that big red solo cup right there, and you just pick out some random questions, and you have to answer them. And every time you answer, you have to take another shot of Patron. I'm just kidding about that, but you do have to. I do have to <laughs> perform tonight. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play. All right, cool. If you could spend all day riding one ride in Disney World, what would it be? That one's hard because I grew up in Southern California, so I've only been to Disneyland. Okay. I'm assuming a lot of the rides are the same, though. Do we know? Do they have a Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes, they do. Then it would absolutely be that. I was obsessed growing That's up. That's just that like ride. the ship that goes. Just, it's nice and air conditioned, yeah. <laughs> and it's yeah. I would just cruise it's like around, a safe ride. maybe sneak a little Patron on, and totally. You know. All right. How about another one? Let's go a little deeper into the cup yeah, for this one. Yeah, I was one. gonna say perfect. All right, here we go. What small gesture did someone make towards you that meant the world to you? Um, one of my very first uh, shows after I signed my deal was at a very small club that I love in Atlanta, uh, actually in Decatur, called Eddie's Attic. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time I met this fan, and she now runs one of the, the Brent Young fan sites. Um, but uh, that first day that we met at Eddie's Attic, she brought me a, uh, a passport holder. And uh, in the note, it just said, oh, the places you're going to go. And it was it was personalized and it had my name on the front of it. And I, I thought, you know, very, very, very sweet gesture. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, actually, I just remembered I do have a gift for you um, from. So I was uh, reading that you need candles with you when you're on the road. I like to bring candles for <laughs> hotel rooms. Yeah. Wait, first off, is it legal to light a candle in... Uh, oh, no, it's, you're not lighting it on the tour bus. You're lighting it... Or I'm sure that's legal, not on too. The, I don't do it on the bus. We do have candles on the bus. You do? Okay, uh -huh. but in the hotel rooms, you bring your own candles. Uh -huh. A pillowcase, candle, and then I bring uh, my own Amazon Fire Stick. So, basically, the smell of the candle, your own pillowcase, and whatever TV you want to watch feels like home. Genius. And what's the last TV show you binge-watched, by the way? Uh, well, 
I, I go back and start Friends over on a regular basis. So good. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's your favorite Friends episode? Oh, I could talk about it all day. You know, I, I probably have way more than this, but whenever somebody asks that question, the one that comes to mind is the pivot episode with the couch. I was just going to say. Yeah. But also when he bleaches his teeth really white, yeah. or when they all find out What's that Monica... What's wrong with me? <laughs> you have a black light. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I'm obsessed with that show. It's, it's a little bit embarrassing. Which but. character do you most... Chandler. Chandler? Yeah, he's hilarious. That's awesome. I would hang out with Chandler all day, every day. That's cool. I feel like I wish I was like Rachel, but I'm probably more like Monica and just obsessive. You like obsessive compulsive? Yes. <laughs> yes, totally. Is it like bothering you that there's trash on the table there right is. now? There is. Yes, I see like plastic everywhere. No, actually, <laughs> you should see my car. I'm like so neat in the kitchen, but my car looks like I live like in it. Like a bomb went off. Yes, Got it. totally. I'm kind of so, the same. I know you like candles, so actually, a local candle company, uh, Chesapeake Bay Candle, they sent you this really Did nice. Did they really? Yeah, I was talking about how you like candles. I um, and they sent, and I, I mean, it's beautiful stuff. Sorry, I looked through no, it. No, that's amazing. Um, but yeah, that's amazing. It's really sweet. Chesapeake so, Bay Candles, thank you so much. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna. This is gonna be great for my bus because my smelly band. Um, I'm sure if you perform us. and yeah, exactly. Right. right. Totally. Well, Brett, thank you so much. We're super excited you're here. Thank you. And yeah. Thank you. I'm